All right, we are going to be making a box. All right, we got some feet on it. We got some joints at the binary, mortise and tenon. We got some finger joints out on the edge. We got a hinged lid. We're going to engrave something on it, make it personal, make it yours. So let's get to it. We got our uh, first step is to make our first box. And it is, we're making a three by five, right? So three by five. Center point rectangle going five, three, three by five, and then I know my thickness is going to be an eighth inch, so 0.125. And I don't need to, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's symmetric out of habit. Boom, there's our first piece. Now we are going to do something fancy, okay? So we've got these. Uh, finger joints we're going to make. We're going to end up with something like this and then mirror it. So it's a box and it's 0.5 wide, 0.5 from the edge. So doing a sketch, just make a little box down here and it's 0.5 and 0.125 and then we're going to dimension from that edge over there and it's going to be 0.5. Alright. New feature, this thing's cool, right? So we're gonna pattern this along here. We're gonna do it five times and it's gonna 0.875 apart. Up here, rectangular or linear pattern tool right here. Okay, and what does it want to pattern? We're gonna draw a box around here and beautiful. And we wanted five of those. It, it goes all the way to the end. We don't want that. Be so we're gonna change the spacing. We're gonna go 0.875. And now we've got the same spacing out on the edge there, and we look good. We're going to go, okay, I'm going to extrude my last sketch, and we're going to remove material, and we're going to go through all. Bam, that looks great. Okay, now our next step is to mirror that to the other side, and then we'll work on the other one. So I'm going to mirror. What am I going to do? A feature mirror. And then what feature am I extrude to? And then where's the mirror plane is right in the middle. So that's that front plane right there. Okay. And voila, we got it to the other side. We drew it once, patterned it, and then we jumped to the other side. Beautiful. Okay. Now, new sketch. New sketch. And I, you could do this on the right, but it's easier typically to do it on the left because of the way this tool works. And then on this one, though, we're going to go 0 0.5, 0 0.5 again, and 0 0.75 on our uh, spacing between. So rectangular, and it is 0 0.5, 0 0.125, and dimension from the bottom is 0.5. Our rectangular pattern tool, again, or sorry, linear pattern tool, and we're not going to the right we're going up okay and we wanted three of these and we wanted only one of these so you can double click on those oops not 11 one and then my spacing is off i wanted 0.75 i believe double check 0.75 and three of them correct so that looks good we're going to go ahead and in that sketch we're going to extrude it and I can click on sketch three over here and remove material and we're going through all. Bam, again. Now that we are set, we can mirror a feature and we're gonna get extrude three and we're gonna mirror it across here. Boom. Oh man, so that looks complicated, but we broke it down into simple parts. So we made our first sketch by three we made our next sketch uh, which started with just this right here right our 0 0.5 eighth inch thick is our material thickness and then 0 0.5 from the edge and we used our linear pattern tool to get five of them across with equal spacing right we extruded that cut we did a mirror we on our mirror we were able to select our extrude two because uh, that was all of these cuts and then use our mirror plane to mirror across to the other side 
and then we just rinsed and repeated on the left side we extruded the, that pattern and then we got it on our other side Whew. beautiful good luck